myself a good chance to get me some water here, but uh, we still got the thundering here on top of the studios here, so we got a little bit of time left to get this whole thing going before we see it totally improve across the area. As I mentioned, though, we've got all these areas shaded in green. Uh, that's where we're seeing all these areas here shaded in green. That's where we're seeing the flash flood warnings uh, in case of out around La Jolla and uh, Mission area. That is where we're seeing the flash flood warning until 1 o'clock. For Edinburgh, Lopezville, down towards Alamo, up towards San Manuel, and that's until 1 o'clock as well. Alamo is included in that. And then over towards Weslaco, we're looking at a flash flood warning there until 1.30, and that also is until 1.30 for southwestern Cameron County, northwestern Cameron County, also up into Willisey County. We're seeing the same deal there, flash flood warnings continuing for that part of the valley. All right, Jim, I'm ready to take over here. Let's for do it. All right. Um, just had a mic up here for real quick. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. I just got to the point where I was starting. No, to... you're okay, Jim. This is this is live TV. We're just, you know, yeah. you got you to do what you got to do. Exactly. Um, all right. So, again, like Jim was just mentioning, uh, we're continuing to watch those uh, flash flood warnings. That's the main concern right now is because we have seen so much rain lately that the ground is becoming super saturated. So we had the rain event on the 1st of May. We had the rain event on Wednesday last week. We had the rain event on Saturday. And that's a lot of rain between those three events. And then you add in today's rain. And uh, we are seeing the, the big trouble spot is right around uh, McAllen, Edinburgh, Elsa, Wessico, Progresso, down towards uh, Harlan, excuse me, just on the edge of Harlingen, it looks like, and then Raymondville, Lyford, uh, and then again, that goes until, that particular one goes until 1.30 in and around uh, just north of Laferia there. So I, again, we just continue to see these uh, flash flood warnings click in as that heavy band uh, continues to move off to the east. So basically, once you get about, uh, let's say about two inches, they've been clicking on these uh, flash flood warnings uh, for you. Uh, but the good news is once you get on the other side of this line, and Jim was just talking about this, out towards um, Rio Grande City, even just to, to the west of McAllen, look into that drier air. And, and what's really happening here is the atmosphere is becoming worked over. So there's really not much juice, not much energy in the atmosphere to keep these storms going behind that. Plus, this is really raining out the atmosphere. So all all that moisture, all that humidity that you woke up to this morning, that's now coming down as rain as part of the reason why we're seeing that heavy rain. Uh, but behind it, uh, there's a lot less of that going on. So uh, again, it's really just this uh, bowline echo from basically Corpus Christi all the way down through Harlingen and down into Mexico. It's just this big line. And you can see that moved up through uh, Kingsville earlier and now uh, through uh, basically Kennedy County. And then basically the strongest is through Willisey and then down into Cameron County and just the edge of Hidalgo County towards Westlaco uh, there. And again, that's where the, the main focus, the main portion of energy uh, with this uh, storm system is. So uh, basically, we can hear the rain uh, from the rooftop here at the studio. We can hear the lightning outside. Uh, you, you see that in Rio Hondo, San Benito. Jim just drew in a new storm track in here for you. Uh, so Laguna Vista in about, so let's see here, 30 minutes. Uh, those Fresnos in about 12. Brownsville, you got about 24 minutes from now uh, before you. I know some folks messaged me on Facebook earlier that they were in an RV in Brownsville. You know, this is not a high, high wind event. There could be some wind gusts in there. But the big thing with this is going to be the heavy rain, the pretty much nonstop lightning that we're seeing with this, and uh, just the overall concern with uh, just flooding in general because we've seen so much rain. And, and honestly, and I don't know if the, the lightning data dropped out on us, but we've seen less and less of the uh, the lightning strikes on there uh, over the last uh, hour here. It says zero. I don't buy that. I think it's still probably close to uh, about, uh, you know, 400 or plus or there. So we're continuing to watch that for you. Uh, but again, the, the big thing is this line of storms continuing uh, to, uh, to push that uh, off to the east there. And we've been seeing this somewhere between 25 and 30 miles an hour. That storm's, uh, again, continuing to push off to the east uh, there. So actually looks like 
like we lost the lightning data. That's what that issue was there. Uh, so it wasn't the drop-off in lightning. It was actually just loss of data, which happens. Again, live TV, we've been getting uh, power strikes here, and it messes with computers and this and that. But at least we get the, the important information here for you is the line of storms there, those flash flood warnings in effect. And you can see that goes from basically all of southern Hidalgo County all the way up into Edinburgh, Elsa, Lyford, Raymondville, and we've seen all that heavy rain all the way basically up into Port Mansfield here. And uh, luckily, some of the soils, depending on where you're at in Willacy County, are a little bit more sandy, so it doesn't take, uh, so, it, you know, the water soaks up a little bit better. It's a little bit more clay, uh, that soil down and towards the McAllen and Mission and Westlaco. And that's why you see a lot more of those problems uh, down here. It's also a lot more concrete, and that means a lot less places for that uh, water to soak into the ground. And it kind of just flows through the streets there. And again, that's why we see a lot of more of those trouble spots, the more nuisance flooding in and around our more populated areas through McAllen, through all the way through basically Harlingen uh, is where we see that a lot of that, uh, the worst of that uh, nuisance flooding. Uh, when we get events like this. But again, those flood, flash flood warnings, La Jolla, Alton, um, McAllen, Mission, Edinburgh, Alamo, Westlaco, I mean, you could, Elsa, Santa Rosa, I mean, we could go on and on and on. Raymondville, Lyford. Uh, it doesn't include Harlingen, but we're right on the edge here. Uh, basically, I think even our studio is probably actually in the in the warning box, which is technically Harlingen uh, in Harlingen proper. Uh, Palm View there, uh, Combs, Santa Rosa. Uh, basically, if you're along 83 inter uh, Interstate 2 there, uh, you're dealing with some kind of heavy rain, flooding conditions. It's probably better on the interstate, not that you want to be driving, uh, than the frontage roads, because the frontage roads are a little bit lower to the ground obviously you're going to be more prone to flooding there uh, but if you can avoid being on the roads right now let's say you're in brownsville and you're seeing oh it's the rain's not here well wrap up what you're doing now go home or go into your office, stay where you need to be. Uh, it's just not important uh, to be out on the roadways uh, right now because we need this to go through. And then obviously, like we saw out in Rio Grande City, uh, things are a lot quieter off now. So let the line of storms move through your area and then we'll be better off. You can go about your day this afternoon, this evening, and uh, over the overnight hours for us because once this moves on through, all the, the energy, again, from the atmosphere, is going to be used up. It's going to be spent. So I don't really expect um, a lot of storm systems to develop here later on tonight. Uh, we could see, you know, a little spit and spat and pip and pop here later, uh, but nothing like this line of storms. Now, will we see more rain later this week? That's a chance, too. We'll see. We have rain chances tomorrow. We have rain chances Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we're going to have to watch for continued threat uh, for flooding, and heavy thunderstorms again through the weekend. But again, our main focus is right now, and that's that line of storms we're continuing to track for you. Uh, again, moving into San Benito, Rio Hondo, Los Fresnos, it's right on your doorstep. So is Rancho Villo. Uh, if you're along, uh, again, 69E from San Benito uh, to Brownsville, uh, again, you got to make your, your, your trip, all right? You got to find a spot. You're going to hang out for a little bit, uh, whether it be a store or your work or uh, your plate, your home, you know, wherever you need to go, find that spot. Again, if you're in the lower valley, just kind of hang out there. No wor not worth driving on the roadways, getting in a car accident, and, uh, you know, dealing with all of that in the pouring rain, uh, nonetheless, and the possibility of, of some flooding conditions. And also, because we have flood conditions around the valley, don't drive into them. So I actually do want to point out to, uh, this. So, so Jim just pulled up our DHR camera in Edinburgh. So Edinburgh's on the, uh, what to call on the western side of that line of heavy rain. So they had the heavier rain. They are in a flash flood warning at this time, but uh, you can notice that the rain's a lot lighter, but there's still a lot of people on the roads. So if you are on the roads or planning to be on those roads in the Edinburgh, McAllen area, Please be cautious because you get down that side street and it could be covered with flood water. And it, even if you think you can cross it with your car or truck, it's not worth it. All right, go around, find another way around because we don't, you just don't know how deep that water is. You don't want to ruin your vehicle. Something happened, you get stuck there, and someone's got to come after you. So, again, not a good idea with that. Now, I do want to point this out as well. Look at this, Jim. They actually did cancel the, uh, the severe thunderstorm watch out in Stark County for you. So that's good news because 
that means that we're pretty much done with the threat uh, of severe weather for at least the rest of the day uh, out in Star County. Now, we do expect these to continue to click off over the next uh, several hours here. Jim, can you zoom us all in? Oh, there you go. Uh, so we do have the, uh, the flash flood warnings. That includes, again, uh, portions of Willacy County, down into Cameron County, into Hidalgo County, uh, not into Star County, but we still do have those uh, flood advisories, basically just to the east of Rio Grande City. But uh, really all of the valley is seeing some kind of isolated flooding to, uh, again, street flooding in and around uh, the, again, southern Hidalgo County into Cameron County and then up into Willacy County uh, for you at this time. Now, Los Fresnos, again, you're getting into the rain, not towards the Rancho Vio. Again, that's where the heavy rain is just approaching Brownsville. Again, this is your time. Uh, to get get the stuff in inside, you got towels outside, you got uh, things that can blow away outside, bring them inside because uh, they're going to get wet or they're going to get blown away. So again, Brownsville is right on your doorstep here. Uh, you got about 12 minutes in Port Isabel and then you got about 13 minutes on the island. Again, folks on the island, uh, again, this is if you're on the beach, uh, this is not the time to be on the beach. Get inside, get in your hotel, get in your house, uh, you name it. Uh, again, this is a time to be inside to get away from the storms. And again, you get about 10, 15 minutes before it's in your way. So uh, Laguna Vista, Bayview, seeing that uh, right now out towards San Benito, Rio Hondo, Rancho Vio, Los Fresnos, uh, again, into that uh, and that heavy rain there and I got a lot of lightning with this as well and I'm sure if you uh, look off to your north and uh, west you are seeing that line of storms approaching you very quickly again these are moving Jim what do you say 30 miles an hour 30 miles an hour there uh, so again watching that again a lot of lightning uh, there about 100 strikes or so uh, Jim's drawing that in there for you I don't know what, what were you drawing <laughs> Jim's playing around over there too He's, there you go uh, so there's that line, of that, that initial front of there of line. This is what happens. I give Jim toys over there with the radar, and he messes us up. But this is 3 a.m., exactly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, exactly. So uh, watching that line of storms, again, we'll continue to move off to these. Jim's drawing, telestrating it in there. Uh, you lose some of that, uh, the radar there right around Brownsville because that's where the radar site is. We call that the, the cone of silence. Uh, so you'll, you'll notice the radar drop off a little bit in and around this spot right here. Don't pay attention to that because it's actually just going right over the radar and it doesn't do a good job when storms are right on top of the radar there but uh, you can actually see some of that interference uh, right there so this is that cone of silence so as the storm approaches us we'll get a little quieter there again it's still pretty active in that spot uh, but uh, we will keep an eye on that as the storm goes right over but uh, again looking at the storm there's Laguna Vista there's 100 if, uh, the road a lot of folks take to the island there through uh, Los Fresnos out towards Laguna Vista and then down towards Port Isabel again getting heavy heavy rain right around 100 Hunter right now, Indian Lake, Bayview, uh, there, Rancho Vio, uh, right around 69. So again, this is just continuing to move in the, the extreme lower valley now. So uh, our folks, if you are in Brownsville, in South Padre Island, Bayview, uh, now's the time to stay home, stay in the house, stay in the structure, uh, and let the storm pass, and, and then we'll pick up things and, and deal with the aftermath later. And then folks that are further off uh, to the... Uh, the west here, oh, look at that, some of these rainfall totals now in Harlan January, two, almost three inches there. I, Jim, I wouldn't be surprised if they see this this flat flood uh, warning even extended out I further. I think it will be. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah out towards yeah. Rio Hondo, San Benito there. Uh, and again, that goes out towards Los Feria, uh, Santa Rosa. I mean, you're looking at one, two, three inches worth of rain. And the good news is this, this is moving. We've had several days where we just get one of these storm complex and then just sit over one spot. We saw this on Sunday, uh, that storm system that kind of sat off of Port Mansfield. Luckily, that was over Laguna Madre that dropped nine inches of rain. So it just shows you that it's nice that this storm's at least moving uh, and not sitting because we would be dealing with a lot bigger uh, flood issues as if, if it wasn't. But it's still packing quite a punch. Jim, let's take a look at rainfall rates, if you can pull that up there, and, and just talk about overall all um, how much rain is coming down at that clip there if you go to accumulations it should be in that in that tab there 
Um, but uh, again, we've been seeing rainfall rates somewhere between three, five inches, even sometimes higher than that. So anywhere in that purple out there. So that's where you're seeing that extreme, uh, what they call in that extreme category. Look at four inches, almost five inches, seven inches worth of rain per hour. So this sat over you for one hour's time. You'd have four to seven inches of rain sitting there in your lawn. And uh, we all know that would be causing flooding and that's why we're seeing those flash flood warnings obviously this is moving so you're not getting the full four to seven inches worth of rainfall but it just shows you how much rain is coming how prolific it's raining um, outside and that's why if you're driving around it's going to easily hydroplane your car if you're driving uh, too fast and this is why we want you to take your time and, and really if you don't need to be on the roads don't right now i guess that's the biggest uh, takeaway from this and again as this is turning into more of a flood issue than a wind or hail or tornado issue. Now, do we still have that threat there? But it doesn't mean uh, we have that anything uh, immediate concerns outside of that rainfall. Jim, actually, Corey, that, yeah, right there. Look at that, four inches of rain. I believe it. I believe it there. Four inches of rain towards the Westlaco area. Uh, I absolutely believe that we haven't had a lot of hail mixed in there. And, and usually, if you get hail mixed in, that uh, kind of um, dilutes uh, some of those rainfall uh, totals, but we haven't had that. I'm really not surprised to see that three and a half, almost four, four and a half inches. In, and look at that, McAllen, close to three and a half inches. And then you go, if you went out to McAllen and uh, Mission area, that area saw three, four inches of rain just Saturday. So, you know, we were, you're looking at the same spots. We're seeing the, the heaviest rain of late, and it really, that's not a good sign because that's where the rain, the, the ground is so saturated that you run into issues. So, again, that's why we do have those flash flood warnings. I believe the one in uh, this area towards Mission McAllen goes until 1 o'clock. Uh, 1 o'clock. So, it's uh, just shy of 11 o'clock now. So, that goes for another two hours. Uh, that one in Edinburgh, Lopezville uh, goes to 1 o'clock. 1.30 in Donna, Westaco, Mercedes, Progresso. Uh, how about there? What's in that one? So that's 115 out towards uh, Santa Rosa, there, area 130, uh, Prima, uh, La Feria, La Via, uh, Lyford, Raymondville, San Perito is also, I guess, 130 as well. So, yeah, you're looking at about two, two and a half hours left in these warnings. And, and it, part of the reason it's so long and the rain may be slowing and ending in your area is it takes a while for that rain to go somewhere, okay? So uh, you'll even, you know, you're looking at, you know, again, the rain's slowing down. That rain's got to soak in the water. It's got to go down the drainage uh, systems, uh, down ultimately into uh, the Royal Colorado or into the uh, Rio Grande Vi uh, River, depending on how your drainage is in your area. But it takes some time for that water to move. And that slope of the, of the valley is not that much here uh, across uh, the uh, portions of uh, Hidalgo County. It actually slows the water down uh, through those drainage areas. But you're still even looking out towards Sullivan City, uh, La Jolla uh, areas there, basically right around Interstate 2 as it comes into 83, uh, heading out towards Stark County. Still looking at some heavy rains out there, but you get just basically just past La Jolla. Look at, look at Rio Grande City. It's dry there right now. So... You know, we started seeing rain this morning in around uh, Rio Grande City around 6, 7 o'clock this morning, and now it's finally ending. And that's why we do expect this storm to be in and out of here by early this afternoon, and this evening shouldn't be bad. So if you remember, on Saturday, once those storms moved through, uh, kind of the, all the energy was out of the atmosphere. You had that crisp in the in the air uh, and that's good news that means this is we're not going to see anything firing up the rest of the day and i think after this morning i can speak for all of us meteorologists will be happy to take a deep breath and prepare for the next uh, storm system uh, that comes on later on uh, in the weekend but uh, again looking at that line of storms again corpus christi uh, offshore into the gulf and then you can see that curvature there. And again, that curvature usually is a sign of uh, some higher winds. And we haven't seen uh, 
too terribly amount of winds. This is not like we saw uh, that uh, Tuesday, Wednesday night last week um, where we saw those high winds that caused the wind, wind damage out towards uh, Donna and Mercedes that broke all the trees there. Uh, this is again at this point in time and really throughout much of this event has been a majority heavy rain event, a lot of lightning event, and obviously we had a couple of tornado warnings and there were no confirmation of every anything actually touching the ground, but we've had seen some signatures and maybe some higher winds in the more rural communities of Hidalgo County and uh, up towards Willacy County, even Stark County there for you. But uh, we're looking in towards uh, Southern Cameron County right now. There is uh, Los Fresnos, Bayview, uh, Laguna Vista out towards Port Isabel and again right along 100 there and that's where you are seeing some of that heavier rains. Again, not the ideal time and then you kind of die. You see it dies off. There's the radar site, that cone that we were telling you about, that cone of silence because that's where the radar is and uh, that's that's why you're seeing that. So the radar is right there. There's no radar image in that little box right there where Jim drew the X there. And uh, that's why things are dropped off there. So it's still raining there. It's just the radar having difficulties uh, picking it up there. But we are looking at, again, that storm. Rancho Vio, Brownsville, uh, getting into that. San Benito, Rio Hondo, Harlingen, Prima, uh, La Feria, um, down at Los Angeles. Um, down along uh, 281 and then down along 69E and then 100 uh, that we're continuing to see that. And then even uh, if you're looking up towards the Port of Brownsville, uh, you're looking at a lot of rain moving into that area there as well. And then basically um, right around to 48, uh, a lot of folks know that there's a boat ramp right here. Uh, that's where a lot of folks uh, put their boat in and do some fishing. So uh, a lot of folks uh, dealing with, again, right around the Port of Brownsville, seeing that heavy rain into the uh, Port Port Isabel, uh, South Padre Island, and then and then Boca Chica will start to see stuff as well here, as well right along uh, four. But if you're uh, familiar again with 100, right where right here where that um, the Starbucks is, and then the HEB and all that, that's where you're starting to see that heavy rain there uh, towards uh, Port Isabel, Laguna Vista, Bayview, and then again out towards. Uh, Los Fresnos, Indian Lake, San Benito, Harlingen still in the heavy rain there, Palm View, uh, excuse me, Palm Valley uh, out towards La Feria, Rio Hondo, Prima, and then out towards Mercedes as well. So, and look at some of these. Uh, actually, Jim, go back here where you were. So, uh, see some of these purples in there? That indicates some of that heavier rainfall uh, that you're seeing moving into San Benito right now, and you can see some of those heavier spots. So, you're just looking at some heavier downpours, and again, you start to see purple, you think maybe hail, but a lot of this, again, we've seen is just really heavy, heavy, heavy rain uh, continuing to move uh, through the valley. Again, no hail detected there. Uh, Jim just pulled up the hail detector. So, yeah, yeah, it's just heavy, heavy rain in and around that area. And again, you can see those green boxes. That's where those flood warnings uh, still exist. Again, 1 to 1.30, depending on where you live. Uh, the further out into Hidalgo County you live, there's again, 1 o'clock. And then into Willacy and Cameron County, that's 1.30 uh, uh, for you. And again, right at the top of the hour at 11. 11 o'clock, so we got about an hour, uh, excuse me, two to two and a half hours uh, more of uh, those flash flood warnings and again in effect. But you get to the other side of the line, and we're seeing this. Uh, Jim, can you zoom in on an Alton area for you? Yeah, look at this. You're starting to see that, uh, that breaking up there. Now, obviously, it's raining out towards La Jolla, Sullivan City, but you're starting to see this, this drier air starting to work its way in. So, Mission, Alton, and then up to the north there, uh, you're starting to see that the drier air, and then you can see that further off to the west, uh, just past uh, uh, La Jolla, Sullivan City, and then all that is dry air, so no rain in and around uh, that area. And this is moving along with it. So, once we get this out of here, Things will be a lot quieter. I think we'll be a lot happier as you get in towards this afternoon and you can maybe get outside, get some stuff done and, and not have to worry about, uh, again, any severe weather the rest of the day because all the energy of the atmosphere will be well spent uh, by the afternoon hours uh, for you. So, uh, again, continuing to watch this storm. I mean, it's been an impressive morning. Uh, none the least, but uh, we've been watching this basically since Saturday. Uh, we knew that there was a storm going to be coming today. Uh, we had well notice uh, that this was coming in. Maybe came a little bit earlier today than we originally thought yesterday, but basically things have developed as we thought they would. Uh, again, with that strong line of thunderstorms coming out, basically much of the state has been dealing with some kind of 
strong storms, heavy rains, and flooding for days. And, you know, here's our chance to get it into the mess uh, here again with that uh, line of storms. Uh, again, Harlingen, Westlico. San Benito, Los Fresnos, uh, again, in that heavy rain. And uh, look at some of this. You're starting to see those oranges in there. That's that's the, whew, that's four inches of rain right there, just north of uh, West of Co Progresso, down towards Donna. So, I mean, I, I, four or five inches of rain. I mean, that's, that's impressive amount of rain that, that has dropped uh, from this uh, storm system. And, and again, that's why we do have those flooding issues. Again, flash flood issues. We've had had uh, reports of some roadways, some the normal spots, that spot that down the road, that intersection that always floods. That's the spot that you need to watch very, very closely. And uh, we all know uh, that a lot of these levees that you know they get full up pretty quick and uh, that's when we start to need watch for even more issues and and you know even when it's done rainy that levee you know that doesn't look too bad now could see water in it later as that water all flows downstream and look at some of these rainfall rates here uh, Jim's clicking them in here for me uh, four f almost four and a half six inches six inches there's 5.9 so about six inches there uh, so again, this is if the storm was sitting over you for an hour, how much rain that you would get at a particular time. So, you know, this could pile up pretty quickly. And again, we saw actual uh, rainfall accumulations about four or five inches. But, you know, let's just say another five inches out of it. I mean, we're talking heavy, heavy rains associated with this. And that's why I'm very thankful that this is moving along as uh, quickly as it is, about 30 miles an hour. So uh, Port Isabel getting into the mix there, Holly Beach, Laguna Vista uh, into the heavy rain. South Padre Island, you're starting to see the rain up along the uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth Causeway there. And again, that's, uh, again, seeing that heavy rain moving in that direction uh, for you up along uh, 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 Laguna Madre, again, right along uh, 48. Again, that's that's a road that kind of right along parallel uh, to the poor Brownsville there. And again, you can see down towards Brownsville, uh, starting to see that again, right around 48. And then uh, look at that, all that. Uh, probably Townsville up along 69 again right where it comes four there and uh, head out at night no no uh, that's a uh, four there yes. and uh, that goes all the way out towards the the coastline as well and I'm sure if you're you're traveling along that roadway you're looking at very heavy rain down to again towards Just have fun and I will see you at home okay Good night. I'm sure throughout the morning and thinking, oh, it hasn't got here yet. Well, it's there now. And uh, you're looking at, again, heavy for you uh, as well at this hour. And then those Fresnos, Bayview, uh, San Benito, seeing the heavy rains at this time. Uh, Harlingen, Rio Hondo. Looks like it's starting to slow down out towards Westlico, Progresso. I think that's good news. Look at even out towards Edinburgh, McAllen. Starting to see that drier air uh, there as well. Now, there's still that... that secondary uh, batch of some uh, heavier rain moving in with that as well. So you, while Mission and McAllen, you think, oh, it's done. You got probably one little dose of uh, so maybe another round of a heavier shower moving through there, and, and then you're into the, into the drier air there. So it's just that last little bit right in there. Yeah, Jim put the check mark. I like it. Check it off. We're done for the day <laughs> as it <you> happened <laughs> towards uh, Rio Grande City. Uh, for you. So that's what we'd like to see. Uh, Falcon Lake rather quiet right now. Again, uh, um, Rio Grande City rather quiet. Uh, you're still looking at some showers and, and storms out towards, uh, again, La Jolla, Sullivan City, um, La Homa, Alton, Mission, out towards uh, McAllen, uh, Lopezville, Alamo, and then that heavier stuff picks up again out towards Westlake. But uh, Jim, yeah, Jim's trying to show how much rain is in it. Yeah, 6.1. So it just shows there's still some heavy rain, even though you got that drier spot right in here, there's still some heavy rain, six inches per hour. Uh, almost five inches an hour. Again, you're getting that pink. That's a heavy, 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 what we call extreme rain rates there. So, uh, again, that's where we're still looking at some heavy downpours. 
and that's going to move right through the same spot that just saw those flash flood warnings. So, you know, it just adds to it. And then obviously the, the big line, the big line, the squall line that we've been tracking all morning for you, uh, still has the rainfall rates anywhere from four, uh, five to six, even possibly seven inches an hour, uh, depending on where you're at. So, a lot of rain again that's the big 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 story and i can't reiterate it enough if you don't need to be out there don't okay let the line pass through and uh, we'll look at a little bit better conditions well i shouldn't say a little bit a lot better conditions as we get in towards this afternoon for you so again we're watching this move uh to the east but we still have a little bit even a northerly component there to it jim can you put it back in motion there Oh, new flash flood. Okay, there. New flash flood warning. Harlingen, uh, Rio Hondo, San Benito, two o'clock. Uh, so it just uh, just past eleven o'clock right now. Uh, so that goes for three hours. That uh, and that got she into Willacy County there as well. Uh, and we we didn't expect this. Obviously, as this uh, continues, that line continues to move eastward. It continues to drop that heavy rain. We just showed you rainfall uh, totals in around the Harlingen area, right around two three inches. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by any means. Now. We did in the Harlingen area miss out a lot of the rain on back on May 1st. So you're more than made up for it. All those folks that came up to me and said, oh, we didn't get the rain here in Harlingen. Well, you got it now. You got it now. All that rain in Rio Hondo, uh, San Benito also in that uh, flash flood warning for you. And again, two o'clock for that. But we've seen flash flood uh, warnings for you out towards Palmview, McAllen, Edinburgh, Westaco, Elsa, Raymondville, Lifer. I mean, you name it, all the way from La Jolla to basically Rio Hondo. And uh, Jim, why don't you uh, pull up the map that has uh, all basically without the radar on there and kind of gives us a better look at there it is um, so anywhere in that uh, bolded green lime green color you're in some kind of flash flood warning for you and again that includes San Benito Harlingen basically just to the west of Port Mansfield right along uh, the uh, Kennedy and Willacy County line and then out towards the, the, the west there but uh, you're going in uh, Raymondville Lyford Elsa, down in Harlingen, Laferia, and then Edinburgh, Lopezville, Alamo, McAllen, Alton, La Jolla, La Homa Mission, Hidalgo, in that flash flood warning until 1 o'clock. So two hours for you in Hidalgo County, in Cameron and Willacy County, you're looking about another hour, uh, excuse me, two and a half to three hours of that uh, flash flood warning in effect for you in and around your area. So again, this is uh, something you need to worry about if you're driving around. Uh, once that line moves through, and uh, you're looking at some uh, some spots, especially those spots that always flood, to have those issues. Now, Jim just pulled up the beach park at East LaBlanca. Uh, this is our camera there. Uh, I'm not sure. What, Jim, do you know? Ca okay, so there's the causeway right there then. So, uh, again, you can see that heavy rain moving in. A little bit of a, of a wind, too. You can see some of the trees there uh, blowing in the wind there as well. Jim, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, that. Thank you. Uh, Jim's moving the camera around, kind of give us another look. So uh, there you're facing uh, to the north there. So again, there's those hotels, and then there's the beach. Uh, and again, you can just see that uh, heavy rain now moving in and around that area. Look at the line there. Jim, look at that. Yeah. That's the line of storms, uh, again, moving through. So it's actually looks relatively bright on yeah. the other side of that. And that's moving that direction. You can see, uh, I guess those are raindrops there. I thought that was lightning there for a second. But look at that. Uh, that's amazing uh, to see that uh, line of storms there. And... I would not want to be on the Gulf of Mexico right now on no. a boat by any means. Uh, right now is this a line of storms uh, now starting to push um, just onto the shoreline there and uh, into the Gulf. Uh, but uh, wow, what a line there. As it, You're looking at, uh, kind of zoom in on South Padre there. So you're looking, when we were looking at that camera, that was that actually might have been that out in front outflow boundary part of that there uh, but uh, that's where we were looking at is that that clear air right in here up along that camera wow is that cool for us uh, but uh, looking at uh, again that heavy rain now moving into Port Isabel South Padre Island Laguna Vista for it and then right along 148 as you get onto the island and then down into Boca Chica now as well uh, right around interstate 4 where SpaceX is there so again uh, a lot of rain heading that direction through the lower valley at this hour and look at jim just circle this look at bayview purple on the radar so that indicates that higher rainfall total excuse me high full rainfall rates that we're looking at in around that area and then you look at the actual rainfall rates you're looking at in around bayview five six seven inches uh an hour if that's stuck over bayview uh for an hour there's seven right there 
Uh, so again, just shows you again how much rain is coming down and what a clip it's coming down and how easily you get rainfall in that clip for it to flood is is not that hard because it's you know you're looking at the drainage systems getting overwhelmed pretty quickly in and around that area and that's why you're looking at street flooding probably likely uh, in and around that area so we haven't seen actually the rainfall totals catch up there uh, but you can see not too far away out towards san benito uh, two inches of rain up towards the Indian Lake. There's two inches there. So as this moves in, we'll see that yellow from that higher rainfall totals probably we could move along with it as well uh, that you're not seeing out towards uh, San Benito because it, it takes a little bit longer, obviously, for the rainfall totals to uh, match up with the rainfall that's falling out of the sky. Uh, it's got to accumulate there first. But this is what we were talking about earlier, that, that kind of that quiet there. Uh, but you can see right around to the radar site, look at that heavier stuff in towards uh, uh, Brownsville there. So again, that's all heavy, heavy rain. It's probably heavy rain all the way through that area uh, that you're looking at. You just got to get on the other side of that radar site there, uh, and then you'll see that uh, rain picking up there. Just kind of gets distorted in around Brownsville there, unfortunately. But uh, again, along 69E, yeah, it's heavy, heavy rain. Please, if you're in Brownsville, if you're on the island, just stay where you're at for a little bit and you know, enjoy the time inside. You get some stuff done around your house. That's probably a good time to do it while it's raining outside. It'll be nice this afternoon. We just got to get this on out of here. And uh, we are looking at, uh, again, already starting to clear up a little bit out west. But you're still looking even out towards the Hoya uh, even out towards Alton and Mission, another round of heavier downpours, La Groya, Sullivan City, seeing that as well. And then some drier air there on the other side. But uh, that's the last bit of it. So you're, you're looking okay as they get in towards uh, later on this afternoon for you. So uh, we got to just get through this last little bit, and then we'll be sitting uh, here uh, rather pretty as we get in towards uh, this afternoon. But again, this. Uh, this is, uh, you know, one of those days that we're continuing to, to track uh, radar pretty much throughout the, the, the morning, the day, and uh, we just got to get through it. We'll get through it together. We always do. And uh, I'm going to pass it off to my, uh, my colleague here, we're Jim. All, we're all getting a little short of yeah, breath here, I tell you. Yeah, we're all getting out of breath. We're getting, you know, got to get a little bit of water in me, but uh, yeah. Jim's going to take it over from Good here. Good news is.